I mean, the vibe, man. That's the vibe. In Topanga, you got, you got, you know, Hellcat powered trucks, you got motorcycles, you got hippies playing guitar, and, uh, good coffee. Yeah, good coffee. Hey y'all, it's Jed. We're doing something a little different today. It's uh, late on a Sunday for us. It's, uh, I don't know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, or maybe even later. It's been cold and it rained yesterday, so we we got a late start today, let the roads dry off, and we're just kind of taking it easy. And uh, as it turns out, we're just sitting here in Topanga Canyon in a parking lot. And uh, I thought what we'd do since, uh, since we have some time is we'd talk to Kenny about the RT and just get a sense of uh, why he's riding it and um, what, he, what he thinks of it and why he picked it. So Kenny, um, first of all, this bike is what year? 2020. 2020, and it's a R1250 RT. Correct. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's your second RT? My second RT, I had a 1200 RT that was a 2016, and uh, I traded it in. I had gone to uh, just buy an extended warranty. I didn't think they could improve the 1200, and I worked out a good deal and came home with a 2020, and it's, uh, well, as you know, because you had a, tw uh, a 1200 GSA, and you felt that motor, that new motor, and, and that's what did it for me. It was like, wow, big, big difference, so. So the, 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 um, the 1200 RT was what year? That was in 2016. Okay. And from before that, uh, I was riding a, an electric line for many years. Uh, I've been riding, this is my 50th year riding, so I have a lot of years on a bike. I've never not had a bike since I was 16, like, really since I was 9, but uh, I, I've been hooked forever. What color is this? This is called Manhattan Metallic. Right now, it's got, well, you've got saddlebags on it. Those come with it. It comes with it, and the trunk came with it. There's a matching color match trunk that is actually fairly easy to remove. I prefer most of the time it's off, but if I go anywhere, I put it back on. The old RT, I rode in the dirt a lot with the GS guys, way too much. I mean, we would go and they would go, we're going here, and I'd go, okay. I, I want to stop you. So when you say you took it in the dirt, we're in Southern California. Um, you didn't take it on the beach. Not on the beach, no. You took it in the desert? I took it to Carrizo Plain. There's a 25 mile dirt road with 11 uh, GSs and GSAs and all those adventure bikes. and They, they must have been laughing their asses off at you. Uh, actually, <laughs> this thing worked better than their bikes in the dirt. And, and I thought about it a lot. And the reason is the travel is shorter, suspension travel. So when you hit a bump, even on the cement, you catch air on this. These absorb, the, the GSs with the long travel, they absorb. If you really want to fly, the shorter travel is good and in the soft dirt going out to Carrizo Plain and places like that up in Kernville um, sh I, first of all I could reach the floor because it's shorter but also uh, the, I get the power to the ground and you can keep the speed up on this and it does great in the dirt way and, better than people and, think and I mean for you to say that you're, quali you're qualified to say when you say you've been riding 50 years I'm guessing the first how many of them were on dirt bikes? Oh, oh, in the beginning, I raced motocross. I'm a former racer, um, and uh, I've just, you know, I've, I've ridden. But, yeah, until I got my license, it was all dirt. And then I raced until my 20s, and then retired from racing and rode street bikes and have had enduros. I've had, I've lost count of how many bikes I've had, but I can tell you that uh, uh, in the last... 20 years it's only been two bikes three now uh, because uh, family and all that so gotcha I, okay this is my only bike what took you from the you had you said your Harley was a it was a, a it was a 2000 electric glide and it was, so, so that would have been twin cam 88 
and I did a bunch of things that the, everybody always does the same thing. So they, they, you know, they open up the intake, they open up the exhaust. I so, put cams in it and everything else. And how long did you have that? I had that bike for uh, for 16 years. Wow. So from two, from 2000 to 2016. Okay. I got clubbed like a baby seal on the trade-in, but uh, what had happened was I was ready to uh, to trade it in. I had ridden a friend of mine's, a uh, friend of ours, adventure bike. It was a Triumph, and I said, "Why am I fighting this electric glide when I could be riding that?" He moved over to BMW and said, "You got to try it." So I test rode one of these, and cops were probably riding those. In Cops point, were right? riding both of, both bikes I have owned most recently are generally cop bikes. Yeah. They, you know, uh, and I've heard that the cops don't like the Harleys because the Harleys get passed by those Ford Explorers and the chases, and they, they didn't like getting passed. These they don't get passed. Uh, the Ford Explorer, cop explorers, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the, the cop Ford Explorer yeah. has a big motor in it, and it passed the Harleys and the chases. And the, cha the, the Harley rider policemen didn't like it. They don't like it. Yeah. So these are quicker. Gotcha. Um, the reason I had heard that LAPD would never have a bike without floorboards, but these don't have floorboards, so they, they do have them. They use them, so, so somebody changed that. So at the time, you're on a Harley. Your buddy has a BMW and gets you to try a BMW. He was on an adventure bike. Why did you pick the RT rather than a GS? The original, well, the simple answer is I, I'll never have another bike that doesn't have a stereo. Um, I know that the helmet thing and all the guys that like that and you have all that stuff. I I can't do what I'm, uh, I'm like a Pentium one. I can only handle so much and the, for some reason the helmet uh, microphone and, and all that sound just was intrusive. I got a phone. I had I tried it once for one ride. And I got a phone call and I felt like I'd be in the dirt. The stereo is there and I can turn it down and it's just it, I don't know. I can't imagine having a bike without it. And then also the windshield uh, is electric, so you push a button and you don't have to do anything but push a button and it goes up. It's got I, so many amenities. I gotta interrupt you. Sure. I, I bet you could ask a hundred RT riders, why'd you pick an RT over GS? And you're the one guy who would say, because I needed a stereo. Which I, is, is a perfectly valid reason. I just think it's hilarious. But really what you're saying too is, it's comfort, really. I mean, it's because it, now you're, you're saying the windshield, which I agree. I mean, the electric adjustment on the windshield is fantastic. The coverage of that windshield is fantastic. And it, you know, it's not that it's not that the GS doesn't have good wind protection because compared to most bikes, it does. But there's just no question that that in that in that RT cocoon, you are. It, it's a comfortable ride. It's comfortable. Um, I will say this. Uh, I was thinking about this when you mentioned we, we talked about this. Nobody that has one of these is a new rider. Nobody nobody says, I'm gonna go out and I'm, they, they do that with this. And so you, you never know what you're gonna see riding. These guys see this and I get the fantasy of, I'm riding to Africa, but I'm not riding to Africa. And, um, but I can handle a dirt road on this just fine. Uh, looking truck. Oh yeah. Is this? No way, it is. It's, this is that new T Rex. Yeah. You never know what you're going to see at Topanga. Got to do the walk around of the T Rex. Pretty amazing, right? Thumbs up on the truck. Yeah, it's one of the first in LA, the TRX. How long have you had that? Two days. No kidding. Uh-huh. That is awesome, 702 man. 702 horsepower. So when are you getting it in the dirt? I already did that yesterday. Where, where'd you take it? It's off uh, Henry Ridge. Oh, cool. Man, that's awesome. Amazing, right? Sorry, Kenny, you got you got oh, one up. changed by a truck. Okay. That's That's got that Hellcat. 
the engine at 702 horsepower. Wow. Anyway. I don't think you could beat me off the line. <laughs> I, I really, that's another thing. So this thing just accelerates with, with the uh, speed shifting. I, I forgot what they call the shifting. Shift Assist Pro is crazy good on this. And I'm, I'm gonna give a nod to the guy playing guitar beside us for a second too, because he's, he's gotten loud enough now that we can, he's in the video. So we got it, we got it. <laughs> so this guy, we don't know his name. I mean, we don't know who he is, but he's, he's pleasant. He showed up with his guitar. And that's what happens in Topanga, right? Man? I mean, the vibe, man. that's the vibe. In Topanga, you got, you got, you know, Hellcat powered trucks, you got motorcycles, you got hippies playing guitar, and uh, good coffee. Yeah, good coffee. Is this is basically stock, right? Well, I've got a uh, the seat is a sergeant seat that I didn't hate the old seat, but I wanted to try something new just to see what it was about. And I really like the sergeant a lot. It's firmer. It's very good. Also, I had this. This is an Aeroflow tall windshield. But I actually, when I traded the other bike in, I gave them the new windshield that was on this because I knew how much I liked this. This is the key to my comfort. And, uh, and then you got risers too, right? I put some risers on myself, and they really are, are nice. I like them a lot. Uh, and there's a little thing on the on the front fender that I put on. Now tell me about this sticker, Kenny. That's a BMW sticker. A B Wait a minute, it says something. BMW. Bring more... Bring, BMW stands for bring more weed. Bring Those, more weed. I didn't know that, so... I found that on eBay, <laughs> and I had to have it. So, um, but if you look at the front fender, there's a thing that hangs down a little bit. I added that. And then my friend, the Jed, got me this bell that's hanging down there for good luck. I didn't really know much about it. I've seen these bells for years, but um, he put it on there. He, he got it for me and I put it on and uh, nice. it's keeping a, me safe. How many horsepower does that bell give you? I'm, you know, it gives me confidence. And there you go. This bike, uh, the only thing wrong with this bike is the rider. I can tell you that. It doesn't <laughs> do anything wrong. So I'll, yes, I will pull up and there'll be a sea of GSs and GSAs and these guys are dressed for going to Dakar and, and, and doing that and we end up, you know. Going to Malibu. Going to Malibu. So for actual comfort, it's, it's uh, for me, this is, this is the bike. By the way, just in case this gets on the air, I don't ride, people I ride with, I, I make sure that they know how to ride and that they have the, with the right head. And he's, hold on, hold on. I feel an endorsement of the I'm Jets riding skills coming, I hold on. I trust very few riders. I don't ride in big groups because I've seen just too many things happen. But I ride with Jed. He's plenty fast, faster than I ever want to go. He's, if I go fast, he's right there. And if he goes fast, he's, we seem to ride about the same pace. And, and we're about safety. And that doesn't mean we, we uh, don't speed. We do. We, we have a lot of fun on these things. But uh, he's very well aware of his situational awareness i should say is, is really strong and I, I feel like i have that too and that's well thank why you. we're still alive thank you i will to that i will say two things one i actually made a pass today that i wish i hadn't made on the way here was it the guy with the wood yeah i mean you i know what I, I was i thought it was such a smart move because i thought it was a surfboard and guys with thir surfboards they're going to strap them down because they care about him. This was a bunch of lumber, and this guy, he, he's never done exactly that before, and I'm glad you passed him. Well, I, I passed him for that exact reason, but I, I, I wish I would have waited till I, I passed him at a spot I wish I hadn't passed him. Okay, well, all the luggage was standard. I know on yours you got it in a package, but uh, these GSs, you have to equip, equip them the way you want them equipped. This came with all of that, which... I thought that made sense to me, uh, and I really, uh, and I'll tell you something, the GSA that you used to have, well, if I had an eight-gallon bladder, I would want an eight-gallon tank, but I don't, 
and I think that this makes much more sense. I think that I'm, I'm not a fan of the cosmetics of the GSA so much as I am the GS. I could live with the GS. But you, I, this is the one that I like, and I actually considered this exact bike um, when I was thinking about just buying a warranty and should I get something new. But I can't be without the radio. You know, that's uh, for me. As a, I am a musician, so I really and I make my own little. I guess everybody can do that with their phone in the helmet. I, that's always the same thing I get from the guys that ride the GSs. And yes, when I pull up to a group, it's always 30 of these and. Maybe there's two of these. And so I like it. It's different. And the cops drive these. They don't drive those. Don't there you go. There you go. And they used to they ride the electric lights, too. I'm not sure. I don't It hasn't helped me with... Uh, I got tickets on... On the last one, I got a ticket. So from... Uh, well, he was in a car. But he didn't appreciate the... Uh, and the, when I see the cops coming the other way, they don't always wave back when they're on their RTs. So I'm, I, nobody's just mistaking me for... Cop, I don't think so, especially with the sticker on the back. Since you mentioned it, all right. Well, there you have it. Thanks, Kenny. You're welcome. Thank y'all for listening. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe and uh, join the Jed for the next ride, too. <laughs>